T-I-F-U sleeping with my former boss in front of her husband. Second update. Sadly. Original T-L-D-R. Agreed to sleep with my ex-boss while her husband watched us. But the husband fell asleep mid-sucks, which affected my performance because he was snoring and farting throughout. An argument ensued between husband and wife while I was still trying to stick to the plan and have sucks. Never came. Went home. Instant regret. Update TLDR. Agreed to meet my ex-boss and her husband to unpack what happened when I agreed to sleep with the wife while the husband watched us. The meeting basically became an invitation for more sucks whilst being a critique of my lackluster and silent effing. I said no thank you to the sequel and recommended my more experienced friend as a potential replacement. My friend became the new guy who unexpectedly got his bat slapped by the husband, but not before the husband turned into a degenerate Dr. Doolittle who used his pit bull to dedicate what my friend was allowed to do to Mrs. Doolittle during sucks. Needles to say everyone in the story needs therapy. Second update. For the record, the EFF up here was telling my roommate everything and expecting it to stay between us. My roommate saw my parents in person for the first time a few days ago. My mom and dad were dropping off some of my belongings. My roommate was high in his room when my parents showed up. I made him promise me that he would avoid interacting with my mom and dad because he was weird enough without the drugs. All my belongings were packed in boxes inside my dad's car. I urged my mom and dad to make themselves comfortable in my living room while I grabbed my stuff from the car. When I returned with my belongings, I noticed my mom and dad looked uncomfortable. My mom beckoned me to come closer and then lowered her voice to almost whisper level when she spoke. She said my roommate appeared in the background and awkwardly waved at them from a distance before saying he would never share his wife with another man if she looked like my mom. I connected the dots and realized what had happened. My roommate noticed an older couple in our apartment and automatically thought my parents were my ex-boss and her husband. Meaning, he must have been Jesse Pinkman High. My dad said he was gonna punch my roommate in the face if he saw him again. I apologized on behalf of my roommate and explained to my parents that my roommate was not himself due to the prescribed medication he was using. My dad said he wanted an explanation and an apology from my roommate. I looked at my mom for help, hoping she would read my mind and tell my dad to let it go, but she did nothing. I knocked on my roommate's door moments later and confronted him. He seemed confused as EFF when I informed him that the people in the living room were actually my parents and not the people he remembered from my story. I made it clear to my roommate that my dad was expecting him to explain himself and apologize. My roommate said okay. I said not okay, not yet. Not until we agreed on what he was gonna tell my parents, because I didn't want my mom and dad to find out about my recent experience with my ex-boss and her husband. My roommate and I quickly rehearsed his explanation and apology with the words I was feeding him. It was simple. All he had to do was say sorry for what he said and blame it on the meds in his system. I said my mom would understand because if pharmacies were people, my mom would be one of them. As soon as my roommate approached my parents, he went off script and apologized to my mom and dad for confusing them with the businesswoman who had sex with me in front of her sleepy husband. He also gave my dad permission to punch him because he wanted to know what a punch in real life sounded like. It was a lethal dose of cringe. I encouraged my roommate to go back to his room, but he went to the bathroom instead while humming what I later found out was Colors of the Wind from the animated Pocahontas movie. Random. My dad looked at my mom and asked her if she still thought it was too much to low-key pack a Bible with my belongings. I made up an excuse to get rid of my parents and avoid unpacking the ex-boss-slash-husband situation that I literally cannot seem to escape. My life has become a bad comedy. If all of you never hear from me again, I'd consider that a positive outcome. T-L-D-R I left my parents alone in my apartment with my stoned roommate who then confused them for my ex-boss and her husband and told my mom and dad that he would never share his wife with another man if she looked like my mom. My roommate's apology to my offended parents afterwards made the situation even worse because his apology made it more obvious that I had sex with a married woman in front of her husband. I think I need to leave the country and start over somewhere else.